Here's a few tips on how to use the Contour and Boundary Selection tool in Fusion 360. The primary behavior is to select the closed contour when an edge is clicked. Notice the preview when hovering over an edge. To delete a single selection as opposed to starting all over again, hold the Control key and click a selection to remove it. If the selection was close but just needs to be modified, click the selection again. Notice the contour highlights red before clicking, indicating it's going to be modified. Selecting additional edges will route the contour or boundary so that those edges are included without the need to select every edge in between. Don't forget to select the green plus to accept the changes. While a contour is being modified, there is an option to convert the closed contour into an open contour. However, there is also a way to skip these steps and select an open contour directly. To do this, hold the Alt key while selecting an edge. Notice that instead of creating a closed contour, an open contour with the single edge will be created. This can be further modified just like a closed contour to include additional selections. Note that holding Alt and simply making additional selections will create additional contours. Be sure to modify the first selection to add additional selections for one open contour. In summary, closed contours and boundaries are the default selection, hold Alt to create an open contour, hold Control to delete a selection, and click an existing selection to modify it.